Okay, everybody. Welcome. Hello, everybody. This is Adrian with Ascension Soul Coaching. And today we're going to do a pick a card. So you can pick card deck A, B, or C. The question for today is, is my lover coming back? So you can either pick A, B, or C, which deck appeals to you. And we'll use the first three cards of the deck to answer the question. Okay, for card deck one. We want to look at what are the conditions that's happening that um, had, what are the conditions that cause your loved one to leave, your lover to leave. And we got the nine of rods. Is it this way? It means isolation. Someone was defensive. There was a lot of defensiveness and there was a lot of isolation that was happening. The person felt alone by themselves. Maybe a little paranoid and anxious. What's crossing them? What's stopping them from coming back? It's the four pinnacles and it's reversed. So they're feeling vulnerable. Maybe they've lost some money. Maybe they feel like they've just lost a lot of things in their life. And, or they're scared of losing something in their life. And then what's the outcome of the relationship? And this card is reversed again. It's the seven, it's a chariot. So it's stagnant right now. So right now he's not ready to come back or she's not ready to come back into your life. They have some things to work on. This person has been very, very isolated. They're feeling very alone. They're feeling very anxious. They're feeling as though they've lost a lot. Maybe they've lost a job or they've lost money or something or investments and right now they're feeling like they're stagnant and they can't move forward in any direction at this moment if you pick deck B what is the condition that made your lover leave is four of swords so there was some restlessness going on, some anxiety, maybe a little burnout going on, and they needed time, they just needed a break. A lot of things are going on in the relationship and around them, and they just needed a little break. What's the challenge? What's preventing them from coming back? Two of swords, they've not made their mind up yet, they still need the rest. This card is reversed. They need some balance right now. There's some blocked emotions going on. There's still conflict going on with inside of them between the two of you. And what's the outcome? Again. The Empress. The Empress is reversed as well. There are some type of dependency issues. So this is maybe there's these dependencies on others. They're not maybe it's dependent on maybe it's dependent upon what you do, what you're saying. Um, maybe there's another person in the relationship, I'm not sure, but there's some dependencies. There's that person's dependent on some other things happening. Maybe there's some dependence on alcohol or some type of drugs or on other things turning out the way they need to before they come back to you. There's some things that need to be done. Maybe there's some expectations. But they need that thing to to be better before they can come back. And if you pick, the card is the nine of clubs or the nine of wands or the nine of wands. So, somebody's taking a strong stance. They felt caged in, and they're taking a strong stance on what they want. They they left because there's some opportunities out there, more stability, but right now they felt like they were caged in. What's the challenge of them for them coming back? Mm -hmm. 
it is the night of clubs. Of pen it's a night of a spades, which is like the night of swords. So you can see this card better. So there's some depression and worry going on. This person is feeling a little helpless right now. They're between a heart, a rock and a heart place. They want to move forward, but they're stuck. And right now they're in a little despair. They're going downhill a little bit in how they're thinking. What's going to be the outcome of the relationship? Will they come back? And we have the seven of clubs, which is like the seven of wands. And it is reversed. Weak boundaries, giving up, playing stalling. So right now, was this way up, right, right side up? It's a person trying to climb their way back up into a relationship, right? And the birds are signifying freedom, but it's reversed. So at this time, this person does not want to come back. They're not able to come back. They're not able to reach out and climb that mountain and come back to you right now. Again, they feel caged in. They don't like the boundaries that's been set upon them. And they want to be free. Just for right now. So what can you do? We're going to regret all three cards. I want to know what you can do while you're waiting for your lovers to either grow, think things through, and before you would be able to talk to them again about getting back together. We're going to use the cards of Wisdom of the Oracles. We're going to pull out a card for each stack. We're going to start with A. B. What do you need to do while your lover's deciding if they should come back? B. And C. What do you need to do while your lover's deciding if they want to come back? What do you need to do for yourself? three cards. So for card A, your lover was feeling alone and isolated. They may have lost some money or a job, some type of loss, and they're stagnant and not ready to move forward yet. What you need to do is, for yourself, is clean it up. Work on yourself. Work on anything that's happening within yourself that would have be a stumbling block for your partner to come back. Look inside yourself and prepare your heart for that person to re-enter when they're ready. No pressure. No pressure. Just clean up your own act. Clean up your own the way you're thinking, the way you're acting. Prepare yourself to be the best person possible when your lover, if he so or she so, chooses to come back to you. And if they do not, then you move on. You'll be ready for the next person that's ready to come into your life and be the person they need to be in your life. For the second, for B, your person needed a right, needed a break, had not decided if they had made a decision if they were going to come back or not, so had a lot of thoughts going on, and they think that they needed things to change and grow. There's some things that they're dependent on some things. There's some expectations that they have about the relationship that wasn't happening. So what you need to do is not only talk to your partner, but imagine how you can make this relationship a lot better. Come up with some ideas to help them to help this relationship grow, right? You don't want to pressure them. You just want to feel like, how do you, can you make this relationship grow? Imagine they're having the best relationship possible with this person. And if not this person, then the next person. How can you look at what happened in the past relationships and how you can make your, ne your next relationship better? And then the last beat, which was C, your partner felt tra um, trapped. Whether by you or by just his own thoughts or her own thoughts. And 
the thoughts about the relationship was spiraling down and maybe some other things in the life was spiraling down not just a relationship he could or she could have felt trapped in a lot of other ways other than a relationship and right now they're struggling to climb out of that hole to get back to the relationship they right now they're liking the freedom that they have because they can think better so what can you do while you're waiting for your lover to come back <laughs> chop wood so this just means that you just need to do your everyday chores, concentrate on yourself and what you need to do. Relationships are work. It's work, but sometimes you can't make it appear to be like work. Sometimes you just need to sit down with your partner and just be present with them, not put them in any boundaries and have too many expectations because those expectations may be not what they want and they feel trapped. So sometimes just take it a little easy on your partner, relax a little bit, just have fun with them. Don't, it is work. You have to concentrate on how you want it to be and what you want it to look like, but don't make it feel like work. Take that energy and put it into cleaning your house, chopping down wood, and becoming more grounded in your relationship and in yourself with nature because nature doesn't force anything. It just allows. Just be. Let it be. Let your relationship be. And if this person comes back to you, just be grounded. Just be more balanced with them. Don't try to trap them. Don't put too many expectations on them. And there's a possibility that they will come back to you. Thank you for joining me in this reading. I'll pick a card today. I will hope you will join me again. I plan to do this once a week. So, and if you have any questions or you want me to read on something, let me know. Just leave it down in the uh, comment section or you can DM me uh, directly through ascensionsoulcoaching at gmail.com. Please like, share, and hit the notification bell. And we'll talk again later. And blessings to each of every, you, every one of you who are going through relationship issues and conflict. And I pray that all your dreams come true with the relationship that you're in. That's for the best of you and the person that you're with. Blessings.